product I'm going to review is the decibels. These are my favorite. I really like these things. Um, case, uh, depending on which package you order, the case is probably going to be extra. Uh, you can see the size comparison to the axle and the size comparison to the Surefire. A little bit bigger, but you know, you got a lot of things in this case. So open it up and take a look. These come with, <clears throat> these are like the, uh, any other, they come with, uh, they come with some other ear inserts. You get uh, either the foam or silicone with these as well. And like I said, I like the foam better. Um, and that takes the large one. Comes with a little bag. And this little bag is very important. I found that out at a match when I just had these things down in uh, their case. It was very hot. And this moldable stuff, it gets hot. It gets a little stick again and the pieces were stuck together it's got like the shoelace cord i like that thing a whole lot better than what we had on the surefire it just they just hang better and work better um pop them right in use i usually don't even have to uh, squeeze the foam in i just kind of push them into my ear hold them for a minute and that foam will squeeze itself in and then expand they stay in there really, really good. Uh, one drawback to these that I have found is <clears throat> it's a plus that you can order them in uh, many, many colors. And, and you'll notice I ordered mine in Marine Corps Red. Hoorah! Um, kind of makes identification on which one goes in which ear a little more difficult. I don't know. I don't know if you're like me, but these things are not intuitive when you look at them as to know which ears that go in. So I marked uh, right on one of them. Uh, a drawback to these, you heat these things in boiling water and then mold them into your ear. Uh, I think it takes about uh, five, uh, five minutes total for each one. You can do them both at the same time. What it doesn't tell you uh, when you're molding it, you stick it in there and you have to push in. And you kind of push that softened plastic around until it molds to your ear. Um, you got to be real careful. And the manual does not tell you this, that if you push it down over this actual earplug portion, it's going to seal that up to where you can't get it out. Uh, so you're going to have to do it again. I had to do it twice. Be real careful when you do that. Don't push that portion down over you want that to be accessible. And one of the reasons is because these things pull out. They actually have kind of like two earplugs. You can see that it's sort of built like the Surefire that's supposed to let uh, regular conversation type noise through. And then this portion of the plug blocks out the, uh, the big sounds. There's actually one that's more engineered for that. These things won't work great if you don't have this portion in. And what I didn't know either the first time I molded them is, although I ordered the cord with it, that cord is attached to its own little earplug. It doesn't, you can't use the plug portion of it that comes with the set to attach the cord. It's something else. And you need that one in when you mold it because when you do like I did, and you mold it and you let that portion get down over it, you're going to not be able to change them out, get your corded one in. That one looks like I can't get it out, but I can. Uh, I even, you know, even on the second molding, I got it down over there a little bit, but at least I didn't totally cover it up. But these things, they're rated at 31 dB, and I think, I think that's 100% accurate. These things block out a lot of noise. Um, I've never had any kind of hearing protection that works as well as these at blocking out noise. So I, I wound up ordering, eh, I can't even remember what, uh, I think I ordered the Decibels custom molded earplugs and those were $25.99. Uh, I also had to get the zippered uh, headphones carrying case. That was $9.99 and the custom earplug lanyard. That was $5.99. That brought the total on these to $41.97. If you order the Pro Pack, apparently the lanyard and the case is included. 
And if I'd seen this when I was ordering, I would have saved $4.47 because that whole package is $37.50. So if you want it set up like this, order the Pro Pack. Now, they also have what they call a percussive filter. There's a picture of that. And these attenuate to 33 dB, but they allow normal sound levels, like the voice to pass through. They also make a set of these, which they call a high fidelity pass through, which they say is great for concerts or musicians, as it supposedly reduces frequencies to a safer level without distorting the sound. Now, it's one of the things I talk about on the axles that when you're using the amplification, there was a little bit of sound distortion. And you know, with any kind of earmuff, there's, uh, there's distortion of the sound a little bit to go along with the attenuation. Um, they make these as custom molded security radio adapters. That works really good, but you know, you buy one of those, they probably, they probably include that. You know, you're paying $100, $200, $300 for some kind of custom radio ear set. I'm sure they're including a, a cheap $5 piece of plastic. One of my chief complaints about these. Oh, oh, and they also make a earpiece. I can't remember what they call it. I'll post a picture right here. It's for like earbuds. I'm going to get a set for my uh, iPods, my Apple iPods because those things don't stay in my ears very good. But it's got a hard section here that you click over your earbud and then you mold this around it so it helps your earbuds stay in a whole lot better. And that's one of my chief complaints with the earbuds. So I think those are like 14 bucks. I'm gonna end up ordering a set of those too. Now my chief complaint is they have a lot of versatility with these things, but you can get the uh, full noise attenuation like these, the percussive, the high fidelity, or the ones for just the uh, uh, earbuds. My chief complaint is you can't intermix them. You can't just order these little plugs because that's the only thing that changes is this little plug feature right here when you uh, get the little different, different types. That's basically the only thing that changes, but you can't order those separate. You know, if you could use them all with the same earpiece, you could uh, save a lot of money, but you have to buy it in a kit where you're getting the moldable part and the innards to it and the little tip. So, you know, I guess it's part of the capitalistic thing. You know, they got to make money. So they figured that out. They're not going to let you cheat the system. But anyway, like I said, these are my go-tos. These are my absolute favorite. They're super comfortable. I've worn these for hours and hours at a match. They hang well. I haven't lost them. Um, I wish you could order them in, you know, two colors, like a red and a gold for the Marine Corps. I'm probably going to order me another one just so I can do that, so I can have a red earpiece for my right ear and maybe a gold earpiece for my left ear. But, uh, I link an ad here for uh, Amazon. You can order these things. Uh, to me, it's probably the best bang for the buck, and the things are fantastic. So that's the kind of thing you want. Go get you a set of these uh, decibels. And remember, kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. We'll catch you next time.